Hello everyone! In keeping with trying to make these tutorials on how to prepare yourself for a boudoir session, Natalie has helped me come up with a makeup tutorial to help create a beautiful eye um, with some foundation, some contour um, for your boudoir session. Now, just because I'm making these tutorials doesn't mean I don't recommend going to a makeup artist for your session. You really should try to save and budget for a makeup artist for your session because a boudoir experience is a luxury experience for you and you should add on to that by pampering yourself by hiring a hairstylist and a makeup artist because you want to be pampered, you want to use the day to relax, and you really should put this in the trusted hands of a stylist. Um, that being said, if you pick a boudoir shoot time that doesn't work with their business hours, they're not available, or maybe you're on a very tight budget, you could try and do your hair and your makeup yourself. Now I've already made the hair tutorial, um, I'll link to it in the description. Um, I'm going to break down the makeup into a few different sections, it may even be multiple videos. There's going to be one for just warm, a warm look made with browns, and then there's going to be a cool look, <laughs> a cool look made with darker colors, grays and blacks. Now I've done this tutorial once before and I did it in my bathroom. And I learned after I'd already put all the effort in that I cannot trust the light in the bathroom. Now the look was fine. It was really heavy, which was fine for me, but some people might not like it that heavy. So I am shooting another one in a room that has better light. This happens to be my son's room. <laughs> he has great window light. That being said, I have also bought myself a makeup mirror. Now, I am going to show you what I'm using and I'm going to link to all of it in the description and in the blog post where the video is going to be shared. So I'm going to show you everything that I'm using. So the mirror that I got, I got off Amazon because, you know, as much as I like to support local, Amazon's pretty quick and pretty cheap. So I got this Densert tri-folded table makeup mirror. Um, it has little sections for two times, three times, and it's got lights built into the mirror. So hopefully that's going to help light my face better so I can actually trust my makeup application a little better. That would be my biggest tip is making sure you've got really good light on your face so that you can trust what you're doing. Let me show you the mirror. So like I said, it's got this nice little design here. It opens up. Hi. <laughs> and I've got batteries in it. It takes double A batteries on the back, but it also has a USB charger. Um, make sure that's on. And then you just press this button and it turns on. Okay. So that's what I'm going to use. Another feature on this mirror is that it can tilt so that you can adjust it. Okay. So for this first tutorial, I'm going to focus on the warm look. So the brown palette. Now I went out and I bought a few brushes again off Amazon because cheap fast. I bought a couple different brands. I bought one that was based on my stepdaughter's recommendation. I'll use that one in the next one for the cool eye tutorial. And I picked one that had some really good reviews. Um, and I'm going to share that with you now. So the brushes I'm going to use for this warm eye tutorial are the MSQ brand. And this particular kit came with this nice little carrying case and 10 brushes. That's a lot. I am not going to use all of those and I didn't last time either. So I'm just going to take out the ones that I think I'm going to use. And I mean, they come with a kit. You're going to do with them what you're going to do with them. As far as my makeup goes, I have a, a palette that was gifted to me by my uh, mother-in-law. Um, it's the Say Bella brand. And I think that's a subset of Melaleuca, which you can only order on the Melaleuca website. I haven't been able to find it anywhere else. And on the inside, you can tell that I've used it before. There's the warm on the top and the cool on the bottom. And this is the palette I'm going to use for both of these tutorials. Natalie doesn't include eyeliner or lashes or lips, really, in her tutorial. She doesn't use them. She doesn't need eyeliner or lashes because she has lash extensions on. So that's something that I'm going to add in myself. So I have a few different things. Um, when we get to that section, I'll share those when we get there. 
I just started with my skincare. I always make to make sure my face is a clean base to start with. Okay, so before we even get started with our makeup, we want to make sure our face is clean. Now, I've already washed my face. you got to make sure the face is clean to create a nice clean palette. I washed before I started, and I use the, the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser brand for normal to oily skin, because that's just the way I am. They do make a normal to dry skin as well. And I'm using Fair's Facial Toner with Witch Hazel in it. And I am using the CeraVe Moisturizer as well. They make, again, normal to oily skin blend and normal to dry skin blend. Um, I'm taking like a smaller fluffy brush in a shade called Seashell. And basically I'm just putting it right on the outer side of my lid throughout the whole top, just right there. You kind of see I'm just going back and forth. And the thing is, is you are moving in like a sweeping motion, like circles will help just to kind of blend it out. You can go both ways. And I'm not pressing really hard. And I'm also holding my brush more so really lightly from the end. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take a sort of medium fluffy brush. This one's from the MSQ. It's a bit longer, a bit wider. And I'm going to take a sort of base color and I'm gonna work it over the lid and into the crease. Um, so since I'm going with the warmer one, I think I'm going to start with maybe this color here. We'll use that one for our base. All right. Just going to dab, 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 dab into the makeup. And I'm going to tap the excess off because it's easier to put too little on and then add and very difficult to put too much on and take it off without having to start all over again. So I'm going to take it easy. All right, here we go. Using, so I've applied with a sweeping motion and now I'm using small circular motions just to blend it a little bit. With boudoir makeup, you do wanna do a little bit more obvious than your everyday makeup, um, just because it needs to be just a little heavier to ensure it shows up on camera. I'm just putting it into the crease and just up above a little bit. And when I'm talking about the crease, I mean like literally where your, your eye socket starts. <laughs> just turning my face to have a look at it from different angles and make sure it's nice and even. I'm finding these brushes nice and soft. I'm personally not used to using circular motions, so it's something I'm adjusting to as well. <laughs> I find doing eyes first, so if anything falls on my face, I can wipe that off and then continue with my makeup rather than trying to um, like wipe my foundation. If you're dropping product on your cheeks, don't worry about it. Um, you could wipe it away if you really want to, but the reason we're doing our eyes first is so that when we go into doing foundation and concealer, you can wipe and cover with the concealer. If you do your eyes second and you drop product on concealer you've already applied, then you might end up having to wipe your concealer away and reapply. It's just easier to work with the messier part first. Even. So now I'm gonna take my same brush. I just like to wipe any excess off. I'm gonna go in with this nude, oops, here. This nude shade right here. And basically I'm gonna do the same thing, but a little bit lower. Next thing I'm gonna do is take a same brush and Natalie just wipes it off on her wrist to get the excess off, and that's something you can wipe off later. Okay, and we're gonna take a lighter color to apply just sort of underneath, not as high up, but just underneath in the crease and out to the edge. So because I started with this one, I'm going to go and put this one on, and you can, you can see that I've used it a lot. It's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> All right, so dab, 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 dab. Excess off. And we're gonna just put it right into the crease. 
Begin sweeping motion and then some circular motions. Like, you definitely don't need a lot of um, different colors, like browns, tans, whatever honestly floats your boat and works. Important to note right now, before I get too much further, that Natalie shares in her video, as you see, that she has a few different palettes and a lot of different colors. Um, you don't need a whole lot. You just need a small handful of colors to make this work. Now my palette is smaller than hers for sure, so I am going to try to follow her tutorial as best as possible using what I have. General rule of thumb is to um, start with a base color and then darker colors on the outside working your way to lighter on the inside. Now, what I'm doing might not seem very obvious to you on the camera, but it's looking good on the mirror. So when I'm all done with what I'm doing, I'm gonna take pictures and we'll see what it looks like on camera. Okay, I'm liking that. What I wanna do is I'm gonna take a smaller fluffy brush, just mainly to pick up color, and I'm gonna go in with this brown shade right here I came up like very little bit I tap it off and I'm going to press it into the eyelid and like you can see yeah it looks a little bit chunky right now but that's okay and I'm just focusing right here I don't want it everywhere Okay, so the next step in Natalie's tutorial is to create that sort of outer dark section. I'm gonna call it a C shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a darker color of brown. I'm gonna take this smaller brush from MSQ. Um, if there's any excess on from previous use, just wipe it off. And I'm gonna take a darker color and press it into the eyelid. Now I started with this brown. What I'm gonna do is move to this I started with this brown as my base and then went to this one. I'm going to go with this brown for that darker outside corner. So all you're going to do is just press your brush into the palette just a little bit. Definitely tap off, tap off the excess. And what you're going to do is just press it into the eye. No sweeping, no circles. Press it into the eye and you want to put it kind of on this outside corner here and just press it from the crease down to the corner of your eye and then make a little C shape from the crease down to your eyelid. And again, if you need to add more, add more. It's easier to add more than it is to take away. So start small. So that's pretty obvious there that I've added that dark. I'm gonna add it to the other side. And then we're gonna go into blending because like it looks pretty chunky, pretty obvious. And makeup is art, it's all about blending your colors. So we just gotta lay the colors down first. Okay. I like that. It's obvious. Obvious, but still light. Like this mirror is really helping with more even application. That's not too crazy heavy, but is still obvious to the eye. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this bigger fluffy brush. I'm gonna take a very light nude shade, that one right there. Not a lot. Get rid of any of that excess and blend that brush. Okay, so because I created my base, and again, this looks scary, but a lot of makeup just has to do with blending. So I'm gonna go in with that lighter shade, tap the excess off, work in smaller motions. Little so Okay, so the next step, we're gonna go back to that first fluffy brush, because that's what I have available. I'm gonna wipe the excess off, and this is the part where we blend. Now, Natalie blends with a nude shade. I do have that on my palette, right here. 
What I'm going to do is just take a very little bit, tap, 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 excess off. And she initially starts by dragging it across her eyelid and then goes up and blends in circles, trying to get rid of those hard lines. All right, here we go. Okay, so you can kind of see how that's blended. You can still see the dark, it's blended in. If it doesn't look that good in the video, don't worry, it looks good to my eye, and it will look really good in the pictures. If you're finding you've blended out the dark a little too much, you can always go back in and add a little bit more. Again, it's easier to add more than it is to take it away. Just to make that brown a little more obvious, I'm going to take this, this much darker shade of brown that has a little bit of sparkle in it, and I'm just, just going to add a little bit to it. This off, press into the eyelid. I don't know about you, I really like a really darkish smoky eye myself. It didn't take a whole lot of product from that darker one. Like, you see how much darker that is, so I'm gonna blend that in. That blended really nicely. So now that I have like this nice little base here, I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle right throughout in here just because I find that makes it pop. Honestly, sparkle preference is totally up to you. I am going to mix. I'm going to go in with this shimmering pearl. And I'll show you the shade I'm going in with. So just that one right there. I picked it up on my brush. Sometimes you have to like wiggle it in there to actually get any of that glitter and like press it into your brush. So now what I do, instead of going into this sweeping emotion, I'm going to push it into my eye. Just because that is going to create a base with that shimmer. And then I've got a little bit of that base. I might do a little bit of sweeping motions. Yeah, like that's looking really good so far. I am kind of like, I like to bring it up a little bit into that, but you can see, I'll kind of show you what we're working with, like super nice, super shimmery, picks my face up, complements it really nicely because we have that graduation of darkness to lightness throughout. I am also going to take a little bit of this shade. Oh, same thing, I'm gonna pick it up. But this time, oh, my camera is not, there we go. This time I'm gonna kind of press it a little bit more where that brown and shimmer meets. Instead of like pressing it in per se, I'm kind of just like almost like zigzags. So now that I have this, I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush, wipe any of that excess off and really lightly, like super lightly, blend that sparkle into the brown. So you don't have like a line that sits right there. And I mean, it's pretty hard to because I have a little bit of that shimmer that goes both ways, it looks really nice. So that is what I'm gonna say, like that's my cool, or sorry, my warm brown. So Natalie adds a little bit of glitter on her eyelid. Now I don't have any glitter on my palette and that's fine. What I'm gonna do is just try to create a bit of a highlight on my eyelid. Um, and I'm gonna do that with that nude shade here. Um, I'm going to take the same brush I was using to press the dark in, and I'm going to put it on the inside out to the inner corner, and then we're gonna blend that in. Okay. So that nude shade is sort of getting lost on my eyelid, even to my naked eye. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this white color and try to just brighten it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more white and then I'm gonna toss a little bit of nude over top of it again. There, so you can see that's brighter compared to that side. Maybe you can't. I can see it in the mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to blend it together a little bit. 
So all I'm gonna do to blend, uh, again, Natalie has more color, so she added more, she blended a little differently. All I'm gonna do to blend is take this sort of, um, smaller brush, and I'm just gonna zigzag the line between the dark and the light to try and blend them together a little bit. You can also take from the dark, drag it across your lash line. That's something Natalie does to try and kind of create a bit of an eyeliner effect because she doesn't actually need to put on eyeliner. I'm just gonna take that big fluffy brush and just do a light sweep over, make sure everything's blended in really nicely. Okay, the last step that just kind of adds just a little extra, I'm gonna take my little teeny very like light shimmery shade like that one, press it in and then right in, and then it just kind of adds a little bit of shine. That lighter shade with a teeny tiny bit of that darkness. Like very lightly kind of blending that in already. Just to kind of create a little bit more of that depth in there. So Natalie goes on to add a bit of a highlight spot in the corner of her eye and underneath. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick with this tiny little brush here. In the MSQ kit still. I'm going to take this nude color again. Just put a little bit in the corner of the eye to highlight. And a little bit underneath. I'm just blending that in like it's a almost like an eyeliner because I have lashes, so I personally don't use eyeliner. Um, however, you absolutely can. So, again, I've mentioned Natalie doesn't do eyeliner or lashes, but I'm going to have to because I do not have lashes. Um, I do have black eyeliner, but since this is a warm look, I'm going to use a warm eyeliner. And I have this brown Physicians Formula eyeliner. And I am going to pick a brush, a sort of firmer, angled brush so that once I put the eyeliner on I can try to smudge it a little bit and create a bit of a smoky eye look. Okay, right. so it just turns, comes up. I don't think I'm doing this right, but this is the way I always do it. I pull the eyelid out, apply the eyeliner. Makeup artist might roast me for that one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Take the brush, work it down into the lash. I think that looks nice. Probably hard to see on the camera, but it looks really nice in the mirror. We'll see what it looks like in pictures, obviously. So, at this point, you could apply false lashes. Now, I do recommend false lashes. Uh, they do a really great job of pulling the viewer's eye into your eye. But, if you're not skilled with lashes, um, the next best thing you can do is apply layers and layers and layers of mascara to make those eyelashes pop. Now, I'm using Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, um, and I'm just going to apply, let dry, and then apply again. And I'm also going to apply a little bit to the lower lash. Alright, here we go. Applicator down to the base. Roll it up and through your lash. When you're applying mascara, be careful you don't open your eye up too much, otherwise the wet mascara can catch on your makeup. Now, I have accidentally applied the brush, just tapped it gently onto my eyelid. I'm just going to try to correct that with um, a little bit of makeup here. So that wasn't hard to correct. Since the wand kind of touched where the darker stuff was, I just kind of tapped a little bit of dark over top. Okay. I think my eyes are looking great. 